P.T. Barnum once said that nobody ever changed the world by following the crowd. And at no time in history was this ever truer than when a young girl in France decided to rise up to protect her nation. This girl, of course, was Joan of Arc. Here we go. Born to a simple life in Domenie, France in 1412, Jean's life started during the Hundred Years' War, a conflict between France and England. Jean believed that she was chosen by God to free France from the war with England. After winning several wars for the then Prince Charles and seeing him crowned king, she was captured and burned at the stake for being a heretic. And hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Philip Page. If you've not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription button and that notification bell. And while you're at it, go ahead and pound that like. That way the YouTube gods will know that you are paying attention to me. Now, I have a great interest in history. And uh, I, I think I've made that fairly clear when we've had our lives before and in some of the past videos that I have done. And I've mentioned to many of you uh, in the past that I wanted to reach out to more historical figures and of course one of them being Miss Joan of Arc. She has a great in-depth history which we're about to go to uh, here in a little bit. But before we really get going I want to give a shout out to our Patreon members as well as to our YouTube subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much and I know that some will want to write in and say there's no way Joan of Arc can understand what I'm saying. She's French, and even if she didn't understand English, um, that she wouldn't understand modern day English. I have addressed these concerns uh, in uh, two videos, actually. You can see them right here. And uh, so, okay, guys, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Hello, hello. Is there anybody here? I am looking to speak. I'm looking to speak to Miss Jean d'Arc. The Maiden of France. Thought I just heard night. Uh, Jean would have been considered a type of knight, a liberator. There was a sentence right there. Jean, you stated that Archangel Michael came to you. Do you still feel, do you now know if that actually was Archangel Michael that came to you? Jean, you were very devout in your faith. You went to church on a regular basis. What is your opinion about faith and God now that you have crossed over? Do you do you still have Do you still have that same level of belief? Or is your belief changed since you crossed over? Jean, je m'appelle Philippe. Here. 
My French is very uh, un peu. Uh, Où est Jean de Arc? Jean was born at the start of the Hundred Years' War. Jean, how did you feel about battling the English? Again, I welcome those of love and light, and I welcome Jean the Arc to come through and speak. Yeah. Jean, you left home in 1429. How did you feel? How did you feel about leaving Domigné? Your mother, Isabel, and your father, Jacques. When you were 13, Jean, when you were 13, your village was raided. Did that, how did you feel about that? Who's making that, that noise? Who's making that noise, that noise? Jean, have you met with have you met with Archangel Michael since you crossed over? Did I just hear danger? If I If I heard that correctly, what is danger? When you went into the Battle of Orleans, Were you nervous, were you scared, or were you confident? I just heard a young woman come through. How did you feel about How did you feel about King Charles and being there at his coronation? Something for you. Ugh. Miss, who was that that just spoke? Who was the young lady who just spoke? She said, 
She said, for you. Then I think she said, look. I got For you. Miss, what is your name? Has Jean come through and speak? And, and has she spoken? I see that. Thank you. Can you? Can you focus your consciousness? to allow for a simple yes or no answer. If you can, has, has Jean d'Arc come through and spoken? So. John, in fourteen, in fourteen thirty, you were captured, and then later sold. Did you know that was going to happen? You had pleaded your case to the court. You remained calm. But in 1431, in 1431, they burned your body three times. How soon? How soon were you able to leave your body? Were you able to leave your body fairly quickly? Later, the French government, they pardoned you and... But did you feel betrayed by France? that you are pure spirit, pure energy. What are you doing now? Do you still think back on your life or have you moved on jean something right there Jean, is there, is there anything you want to say 
or anything that you want to tell people before I go. Joan of Arc. You still inspire? Who was that? Who was that that just came through? Yeah, I don't know who that was. There are going to be many people who will see this. So again, if you have anything that you would like, who was that that just came through? Who was the male voice that just came through? Is there anything else that you have to say? If you are needing help, if you are needing assistance, as for Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, okay? You can go to them. You can ask them for help. I can't make any promises. Okay? But you can ask. If you need the light, if you're looking for the light, you can ask for it. Okay. Ask Archangel Michael, Archangel Lewis, Osrael, Gabriel, please. If there are any souls who are ready to move on, who are. have met your requirements, whatever they may be, I ask please help them out with that. If there are any souls or spirits who do not want to move on, I ask please return through the gateways and the doorways in which you came. And I ask that those doorways please be closed. I'm also going to ask please do not stay in this room. Please do not stay in this home. Please do not attach to me or follow me. And I ask that the doorway or gateway that leads to here, please be closed. Okay. I want to thank you for coming through and speaking. And to Jean, I want to thank you. Merci beaucoup. Hey, guys. Saying bye, okay? Uh, no.